Can you see me, Joe? We've got you, Mr. President, and uh, just to let you know they've started the webinar. Uh, so we've got uh, lots oh, of people in attendance, almost 400 people uh, joining us tonight. Oh, wow. Great. Excellent. I think we're all here then. Let's get started. One second from me. It's so exciting to see everyone here. I know we wish we could be in person, but we'll definitely uh, still have a great time tonight. Hello and welcome to the 2021 President Showcase of Undergraduate Research Excellence. My name is Latika Young and I direct the Center for Undergraduate Research and Academic Engagement. That can get a little long, so we do abbreviate our name to CRE. It is really an honor to welcome you all here, our campus leadership, our faculty, especially our faculty research mentors, our staff and campus partners, students, family and community members, the one cool thing about doing it virtual is that we do get a lot of family members here who might not be able to come normally, so that's always exciting. Although we do truly wish we could meet in person, given the brilliance of the research and creative projects conducted by our students, tonight is still going to be an incredible and inspiring event. My job here is mainly to play MC and Circus Master as you are dazzled by the work of this year's Idea Grant winners, who were awarded grants of up to $3,000 to assist in conducting summer research creative work or the development evaluation of new ideas and innovations, all under the supervision of an FSU faculty mentor. Tonight will also feature the research conducted by our tech fellows and FSU's iGen team. This is normally the moment when I would have all of this year's idea grant winners, tech fellows and iGen team members, along with their faculty research mentors, stand up in the ballroom of Turnbull so we can formally congratulate you. This year, we'll have to do that virtually, so feel free to post something in the chat or join me in some virtual applause for, for all of our award winners. But our office could not engage these amazing students without the dedicated support of key campus leaders. First of all, I would like to thank the Office of the President for their continued support of tonight's event with an especially warm welcome to President McCullough, we are thrilled to have President McCullough join us virtually live, we call it virtually live, tonight for his first President Showcase of Undergraduate Research Excellence. We look forward to many more in the future. So please join me in welcoming President McCullough. Well, <clears throat> can you hear me okay? Yes, we can. Okay, uh, well, thank, thank you very much. Uh, it's, a, it's an honor to be here. Um, when I, um, when I came to uh, Florida State University, I think one of the first questions that I asked Joe Shea was, uh, you know, what, what percentage do our undergraduates uh, do undergraduate research and how can we increase uh, that number? And um, uh, my experience, this has always been a great opportunity to, uh, for fundraising uh, because donors in particular love to give money uh, to support undergraduate research. And our undergraduates always uh, in, within university always have a, a disproportionate impact on research um, at universities. Um, when I was a um, professor, um, you know, trying to get tenure and trying to make my career as a scientist, um, half of my group were uh, graduate students and then usually one or two postdocs. And the other half of my group were undergraduate students. And so I usually at, at um, any time, any given time had five to six undergraduates that work for me uh, in my lab. And uh, many of them have gone on to be, uh, to do amazing things. Uh, <clears throat> several of them are professors at major universities now. Uh, some of them are uh, uh, leaders in healthcare uh, and, um, <clears throat> and work in, in the government and, uh, and have amazing uh, positions and have done extremely well for themselves. So, I'm a big, big fan of undergraduate research and think that it provides a wonderful experience for our students to learn not only about, you know, research and doing basic research, but it creates a, an environment where they have not only an advisor, uh, but they have postdocs and graduate students that they're working side by side, which are essentially provide a um, 
sort of a, a family for them to, uh, uh, to help them when they get stuck uh, with her, with uh, doing a problem set or something like that. They have sort of ready-made tutors right there in the lab and uh, on the science side in particular uh, for them to reach out to. So uh, it's, a, it's a really important experience and it really, I think, it helps with some of the most fundamental things that we have at the university, such as you know, retention and graduation rates and making sure our students are, are successful. So that was my introductory remarks. Now for my speech, uh, my real speech. Uh, anyway, good evening, everyone, and welcome. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity tonight to celebrate the incredible research and creative endeavors of some of our most accomplished undergraduates. Um, the students who are making these presentations have you know, received an IDEA uh, grant and uh, tech fellowships from our Center for Undergraduate Research and Academic Engagement, as Latika <clears throat> described. And my office is particularly pleased to be able to sponsor the event and highlight the importance of undergraduate research at, at uh, Florida State University. As one of the nation's top 20 uh, public universities, 19 actually, uh, we believe that involving students in academic engagement at the highest levels is, is you know, really critical to our mission as I've been discussing. And we really value our students' success in these, these transform, <clears throat> transformational learning experiences. Uh, by engaging undergraduates and um, to learn how to become uh, critical thinkers and, and capable thinkers. The benefits, as I already described, are absolutely clear. Uh, it really leads to undergraduates, higher GPAs, graduation rates, higher rates of admission to grad school, um, and the sense of pride that they come, especially when some of them actually uh, have um, uh, peer-reviewed publications that come out of these uh, <coughs> research endeavors. Um, you know, we um, seek to continue, as I just said, uh, intentionally embed our students into research labs and, and not only in the sciences, but also in business, creative arts, humanities. And, uh, you know, we're successful at doing this. And we've been recognized by the Council of Undergraduate Research. Um, <clears throat> and they have awarded Florida State University a campus wide award for undergraduate research in 2019. Uh, the students taking place in the showcase tonight. Uh, you know, are going have been conducting you know groundbreaking research in partnership with our talented faculty and postdocs and graduate students, and as you'll see, a wide range of topics um, uh, that will be presented tonight. And you know, even as I was reading through the topics, you can see everything from engagement um, at uh, chamber music recitals to a better understanding of, of celiac gut microbiome met uh, metabolites. Um, which uh, that will be something that you should write down. Uh, I'll uh, translate that meaning, uh, you know, what happens and what happens with your gut bacteria <clears throat> determines uh, a lot more than you might think. Everything from health outcomes to people even think mental health. And so it uh, turns out eating healthy is, uh, is important uh, uh, because of all the things that we have in our body that help us uh, in so many ways. Uh, other research that you'll see is and tonight's stuff is uh, everything from creating a documentary about a, a case of sexual harassment in the Navy to exploring methods of selenium recovery in wastewater. Um, you may not know it, but I am a, uh, <clears throat> my PhD is in chalcogenide chemistry, uh, which is sulfur, selenium, and tellurium. So um, uh, that's something that I'm very interested in, in learning about. Uh, we have people that have done research on black college student experience at predominantly a white institution to applying drone technology and machine learning to beach volleyball, all things. These projects are among the many you'll hear about tonight and they have the uh, potential to push the disciplines even further and make a real difference in the, <clears throat> make a real difference in the world. And I'd like to heartily congratulate and salute all the students who won idea grants and tech fellowships uh, to pursue, pursue their research. And I encourage um, everyone to ask these students a lot of questions about their projects and engage on the interactive wall. Um, one of my favorite uh, events uh, when I was at uh, uh, past university uh, was we would have the uh, annual poster session where you got to you know, interact with the students and, and hear about the research and ask them questions and engage with them. So in this virtual environment, we really encourage you to, to do that. 
also want to thank the faculty mentors. This takes a lot of work uh, to do this, but uh, the great secret is that faculty mentors get more out of it than the students themselves. Uh, it's a sheer joy to be able to interact with students. Uh, they're um, uh, happy and optimistic and, and, uh, and think out of the box in ways that, that change the world. And the best ideas uh, generally come from, from their, uh, their great minds. So um, I also would like to thank the donors uh, who supported the Summer Research Awards. There's, uh, there's more gold in those hills, uh, so we're going to mine them. Uh, Joe and I uh, have that on our uh, radar, uh, but we do uh, thank you so much for um, your contributions. And uh, we hope that you'll be uh, incredibly um, impressed with the things that they're doing and we appreciate your investment uh, in their success. So I thank everyone for your contributions to Florida State University's undergraduate research uh, ecosystem. And uh, we just thank you so much for participating uh, with us tonight. And um, I am uh, pleased to be here. I, I'm also uh, uh, saddened that I won't be able to join you for the entire uh, time. Uh, I have to uh, run on to my next uh, thing, but I, I do appreciate the opportunity to talk with you and, and make the introductions. And thank you all for all you do um, here at Florida State University. It's incredibly important. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, President McCullough. And we look forward to seeing you next year in person when we be, we'll be back in Turnville, hopefully. So, Absolutely. Uh, good luck with your, the rest of your engagements tonight and Thank we'll you. see you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. So finally, I'm honored tonight to also welcome our Dean of Undergraduate Studies, Dr. Joe O'Shea. For our undergraduate students here tonight, especially those of you who are in Europe, you might not know that Dr. O'Shea was the previous director of the CRE before joining the Provost Office and then later becoming the Dean. So true story, he actually launched Europe in 2012. So if you're loving Europe, you can credit him. We are also so lucky to have Dean O'Shea in his current role because we can continue to have his support and guidance for our undergraduate research programming and other academic engagement opportunities through our office. So please join me in welcoming Dean O'Shea for his remarks. Great. Well, thank you, Latika, for that very kind uh, introduction and uh, great to, to see no, nearly 500 people here tonight. Really uh, incredible accomplishment, Latika, and your team for bringing such uh, a great amount of students together to celebrate um, our work. So I have a, um, a, a small role tonight, and that's really to just say thank you and congratulations. And there's a lot of people to thank. The president thanks some, and um, I, of course, want to make sure we thank him. As you could tell from his remarks and his story, uh, he is one of the leading researchers in the, in the country and really in the world. And we're uh, grateful to have him at FSU. And I think he serves as a role model for the kind of student and kind of uh, undergraduate researchers we want to produce at FSU. So, um, very much uh, thankful to him and for his advocacy. I also want to thank Latika and uh, all of her team and the CRE and all the other staff who came together and stepped up and helped make this event happen. Dur doing all of this work during the pandemic is not easy and we're grateful to have their, their leadership uh, to do this. And as the president mentioned, thank you to the faculty mentors. We couldn't do this without you. The research that you'll see and the project you'll see tonight would not be possible without you. Thank you for volunteering your time, your guidance, your mentorship being so inspirational for our students. Uh, we are grateful uh, uh, for you at FSU. And as the president said, uh, we have a number of sponsors tonight. I believe we have a slide. Uh, I think we have a slide with some of their names on here. I just want to make sure that we recognize them uh, tonight uh, on the slide. Um, tonight is the culmination of the Idea Grants, Tech Fellows, iGEM Summer Awards, and these awards are possible because of the sponsors you see on the screen here and the many alumni and friends who support our work and the office. Um, thank you for providing a life-changing opportunities for our young scholars. Uh, there are many uh, specific donors here, um, specifically Robert and Mary Frappier, David Ford, Nancy, Casper Hillis, and Mark Hillis, Steve Madden, Dr. Jim Lee, Scott, and Ina McNichols, the family of Dr. Lisa Scott and Phi Eta Sigma, and others who have contributed uh, tonight. Thank you for all of your, your generosity and support. And we're gonna raise more money uh, uh, to support undergraduate search. Thank you. And for the students tonight, I just, I know the president already said congratulations. I want to uh, echo that and say congratulations. We are so proud of you. 
thank you for doing such excellent work and being so creative and so thoughtful and determined. Uh, you're an inspiration for the rest of us. And uh, we are so excited for what you'll do tonight uh, and for what comes uh, at FSU and, and beyond. I know you'll go on to do great things for the university and be an ambassador of what we do at FSU. Thanks so much. Great, thank you so much, Dean O'Shea, especially for showing our appreciation for our truly generous donors who really make these idea grants possible. So audience members, you'll recognize all of our projects sponsored by named donor awards, both in the program and on the student slide presentation. So please do look out for that. So I wanna wrap up with just a few more personal thank yous. I wanna personally thank the incredible staff of Team CRE who really put this together. I won't read all of their names individually, but they are an amazing team and I appreciate them every day. We also really value the support of the other offices in the Honors Scholars and Fellows House, which includes the Honors Program, the Office of National Fellowships, and those at the Graduate School housed in our building. So if you don't know about all of our great programs yet offered through the Honors Scholars and Fellows House, please do make sure to check out our website and follow us on social media. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. We wanted to cover a few final logistical notes. My colleagues will be sharing a link for tonight's program in the chat function. Hopefully you've already seen that if you managed to make it to the welcome remarks, but just in case you'll have that again. The program has all of the links embedded within each session. So there are two main sessions tonight, one from six to seven and one from 7.15 to 8.15. You'll see Dave sharing on the screen. You can click there. You'll do a quick registration, but you'll click basically right through into the session. We also have a special highlighted creative projects room that will happen in session one. So check that out if you wanna see some extended kind of remarks about the creative process uh, for in a small video. So that should be exciting. We will ask that the audience members remain muted during the presentations, but we highly encourage you to post questions using the chat functions. And you'll have a couple minutes after each presentation to, to do a, a short Q and A. If you need any help tonight, we do have a help desk room that's set up. You'll see that at the bottom of several of the pages in the program. So click through there if you have any questions. If you're a student doing the engagement sheet tonight and you need any help with that, you know, we'll be happy to help you. And we're also excited to let you know that we have an interactive engagement wall set up using Padlet. So you'll see that in the QR code QR code on this slide and at the link in the chat. We've posted three questions that we really encourage you to, to answer. Today I learned, today I was inspired to, and today I began to question. So I believe Dave has the Padlet shown up, uh, pulled up so you can click there, go to the three little buttons. So go, first go to the plus mark, it pulls up this thing that I look, looks like a calculator to me because I'm old. And then you can record a video if you want to. And then on the third question, you can actually post a GIF or a, a photo if you want to. So there's lots of ways to engage and we really hope to encourage some Yay, celebrate, that's a great one. So if you're having a good time, maybe celebrate will be your, your gift. Um, and then, so that's the Padlet, so please do participate. And then finally, for students, undergraduate students who are inspired tonight to apply for your own idea grant for next summer, those applications are already open and they'll be due on February 1st, 2022. So plenty of time to figure out what you might wanna do. We have several info sessions over the rest of the fall and then a few writing sessions in January to help you put a strong application together. We have plenty of advising appointments open in our office to talk about idea grants, UROP or any of our other programs that we offer through the office. This link tree QR code here and the link in the chat will take you to all of our social media accounts and also let you sign up for our monthly newsletter, which is one of the best ways to stay in touch and get all of our deadlines. So we're gonna wrap up. We have about 10 minutes until the next session starts. Um, for our facilitators and our student presenters and their faculty, please do jump over into your sessions as soon as you can so you can get situated and be ready to go at six o'clock. On that note, I wanna thank everyone again for coming. We're so excited to share all of this amazing work with you. Fantastic job presenters. I wish I could see all of you. The good thing is we will be recording so we can go back and watch all of your presentations later. Have an excellent time and we'll see you on the interactive engagement wall. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Sure. Thank you.
I am now going to end the webinar. See you all in the session.